Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. See in this example, we have to find the value of this line integral, okay, using Green's theorem. So let us write statement of Green's theorem first. By Green's theorem, okay, we have seen its statement already in our previous videos. Line integration over C, P dx plus Q dy is equal to double integration over R, deba q by deba x minus deba p by deba y dx dy okay so this is statement of green's theorem so green's theorem says the value of line integral is equal to value of double integration getting uh, with this p dx q dy and this partial derivatives right so we have to use this green's theorem to find a value of this line integral okay they have given line integral that means actually we have to solve this double integration and by solving it we will have the final answer let us write the given uh, integral first. Okay, so let me write we how I'm calling it as I. What is our I? Integration over C 2x cos y dx plus x square sine y dy. So now let us find what is our P and what is our Q. As you can see here, multiple of dx is 2x cos y. Here multiple of dx is P. So that's why our P is 2x cos y. So here, let me write, what is our P? 2x cos y and Q, Q means multiple of dy, multiple of dy is Q here. So our Q is this one, x square sine y. As you can see here, we want these partial derivatives. Let us find those partial derivatives one by one. Uh, let us find first deba Q by deba x, okay. Mm, then deba Q by deba x. So we have to find its derivative with respect to x. So when you take its partial derivative with respect to x, sine y is a constant since it is a function of y. It will come outside. So what will you get? Let me write here. So sine y will come outside and derivative of simply x square. As you know, the derivative of x square is 2x. So its derivative will be 2x sine y. Finish. This part is over. Okay. So let us go further. Now we have to find uh, daba p by daba y. Let me write here deba p by deba y. So it means we have to find derivative of this p with respect to y. So when you take its derivative with respect to y, 2x is constant. 2 is constant basically and x, x is constant since we are finding derivative with respect to y. So that 2x will come outside, getting? So 2x will come outside and simply we have to take derivative of what? Cos y. Do you know, remember the derivative of cos y, derivative of cos y is minus sin y. So it will be minus 2x sin y. Okay, so we got both partial derivatives. So let us put those derivatives here, those values here. Okay, so therefore, or then I can write by Green's theorem, by Green's theorem, i is equal to, okay, uh, let me write the given integral. What we have? 2x cos y dx plus x square sine y dy is equal to, I'm using Green's theorem, double integration over r, what we should write, dava q by dava x, where is it? Yes, 2x sine y, let me write here, 2x sine y, after that what we have, minus sine there, get, getting, and dava p by dava y is this one, so it has also one minus sign, so minus minus plus, and its term is again 2x sine y dx dy. See, we have got, fortunately, we have got both terms same. So they, if you add them, you will have 4x sine y. So 4 is a constant you can take outside the double integration. So this is equal to 4 double integration over r and inside it you will have x sine y only dx dy. We have to solve this double integration and we have to find its value. But see, we don't have limits. So first of all, we have to find limits okay, of the double integration and by solving we will have the answer. How to find limits but for that we need to know what is a given region. Okay, so there is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it first then I will go further. So let us find the actual region now, okay. So as they have mentioned here, region is bounded by these two curves. So let me write here, R is bounded by, what we have y is equal to x square. 
See, you remember in previous videos, we have already seen when we have any curve, okay, when we have equation of any curve such that power of x is 2 and power of y is 1, highest power I am talking about. So then definitely it is a parabola. So this is also parabola. Here the power of y is 1. So that's why the parabola is symmetric about y axis. So let me mention here a parabola. Parabola symmetric about about y axis. Okay, so we have a parabola here symmetric about y axis. So let me draw the parabola. Okay, so we have a I'm drawing a rough sketch of it. So para, we will have the parabola like this getting this type of parabola we have. So yeah, let us go further. What is the second term y is equal to x? As you, as you can see here, the power of x is 1, power of y is also 1. So definitely it represents a straight line. So this is a line, okay. So uh, do you remember how to draw a line? That means how to find a line, okay, uh, which is represented by this equation. The technique is very simple. We draw one table. See, in our schools, we have already seen to find any line, we need to have any two points on a line. If you have any two points on a line, then you can join them and you will have the line. Okay. So that's why I'm trying to find any two points on that line. So x, y, x, y. So what will I do? I'm going to put x is equal to zero here. If I put x is equal to zero in this equation, easily you will have y is also equal to zero. So the point is 0, 0. If I put x is equal to 1, the value of y is also 1. So the point is 1, 1. It means that line passes through 0, 0. Where 0, 0 we have? We have a 0, 0 here and 1, 1, 1. Getting 1, 1 will be uh, somewhere here. So let me draw a line which passes through these two points. So I'm drawing a rough sketch. So line will be like this getting. So y is equal to x we have and its equation is y is equal to x square. So the region is bounded by these two curves. So you can easily see here, okay, the region is bounded by these two curves. This is the region of integration. So this is the region of integration. So after that, we are interested to find a point of intersection also. As you can see here, this is 0, 0 from which this line and parabola both are passing. But see, I am interested to find this point of intersection. Let us find it first. So to find, to find points of intersection, points of intersection. You remember what we do, how we find points of intersection technique is very simple. We put one equation in another equation and by solving we will have the point of intersection. I will do the same. I'm going to put y is equal to x. We put y is equal to x in second equation. The second is y is equal to x square. Let us see what will happen. I am putting y is equal to x here. So therefore, we will have x is equal to x square. Let us shift all equations or all functions on uh, variables on one side. So you will have here x square minus x is equal to 0. I can take x common. Okay, let me write it here. Let me write here. So yes, I am taking x common. So if you take x common, you will have x, x minus 1, right? x minus 1 is equal to 0 if you take x common. So the product is 0 that means either the first one is 0 or the second one is 0. So therefore x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is 0 that means x is equal to 1. Okay, so there are two possible values of x either 0 or 1. Let us see what will happen for x is equal to 0. So if I put x is equal to 0 here or here it totally depends on you you will have the same values. If I put x is equal to 0 here, the value of y is also 0. So implies y is also 0. So the point is 0, 0. I'm writing in short. huh? And for x is equal to 1, let us see what will happen for x is equal to 1. If I put x is equal to 1 here, the value of y is also 1. Y is also 1. So the point is 1, 1. Point is 1, 1. Okay, so the point of intersection is 0, 0 here and 1, 1 we got. Okay, so yes, we got a point of intersection. After that, to find the limits, we should consider a strip either parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis. So here I consider a strip parallel to y axis. So let me draw here. So we have a strip like this. Okay, so yes, let me write. Consider a strip, consider a strip parallel to y axis. 
See, when we consider a strip parallel to y axis, we should write y varies from, and after that, we should write x varies from. Let me write the same. So, therefore, y varies from y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and then we should write x varies from x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to okay so we have very simple funda bounded below bounded above then left to right okay let us repeat bounded below bounded above and then left to right the strip is bounded below. As you can see here, it is bounded below by a part of parabola whose equation is y is equal to x square. So let me write here y is equal to x square. The strip is bounded above. As you can see here, it is bounded above by this line whose equation is y is equal to x. After that, we have to move strip from left to right. Okay, from left to right. Our target is to cover each and every point of that region. Okay, we have to move strip like this. So target is to cover each and every point. So we should start uh, strip here. So here the value of x is zero. The strip will move like this and it will go up to this point. Okay, where the value of x is one. So in this way, we got the limits. What are the limits we have? Y varies from x square to x and x varies from zero to one. So integral I have already written here. Let us write the limits now. Okay, so here actually I should write dy first dx later. The reason is we have considered a strip parallel to y axis. So that's why the inner integration with respect to y and the outer integration with respect to x. What are the limits of y? Let me write here. Limits of y are x square to x and limits of x are 0 to 1. Okay, so we got a limits also. Now simply we have to solve the integration and by solving it, we will have the required value of this integral. We have called it as i. No more space to write, make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. Okay, so let us find the value of that integration. Okay, double integral. So i is equal to 4. I have already taken outside integration 0 to 1. As you can see here, the inner integration with respect to y. So x is constant, I can take it outside. Let me take x outside integration x square to x sine y dy dx. So this is equal to 4 integration 0 to 1 x. Integration of sine y is minus cos y. So let me write here minus cos y with limits x square to x dx. See minus sine, it's a constant minus 1 basically. I can take it outside the integration. So minus 4, 0 to 1 x. I'm putting upper limit. So we'll have cos x putting lower limit. So we'll have cos x square. See, I substituted uh, values of uh, here, uh, upper limit and lower limit at a place of y. Okay. What will I do after that? I will take separate, separate integrals and I will solve. So this is equal to minus 4 integration 0 to 1 x cos x dx minus sign is there but see already one minus sign is waiting for that so minus minus plus 4 0 to 1 x cos x square dx okay so now we have to solve these two integrals so let us see how to solve this integration so we have this formula if you remember that formula is integration uv that generalized formula is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 and so on. Okay, this formula I'm going to use here. So let us apply that rule. Okay, so as you can see here, we use this L I A T E, this formula to select our u and v. L means logarithmic function, I means inverse trigonometric, just like sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse. A means algebraic, x square, x cube like that. T means trigonometric function, sine cos, tan cos, sec, cosec. E means exponential, e raised to x, phi raised to x like that. So here x is algebraic function, okay, A, x is algebraic function and cos is trigonometric function. So A comes before T, so it means this is our U and this is our V. So yes, let us apply the formula. The formula says we should write U as it is, okay. After that V1 means integration of V minus derivative of U v2 means double integration of v plus u double dash that means double integration of u see there is alternating minus plus signs getting yeah let us start 
so minus 4 let me copy as it is x what we do we write x as it is that means u as it is v1 integration of cos is sin x minus derivative of u our u is x so its derivative will be 1 obviously and uh, see v2 v2 means double integration of cos already one integration we have taken and its value is sin so it's one more integration will be min minus cos so yeah let me write here minus cos x okay plus as you can see here plus double integration of u but see u dash is one so if you take one more integration it will be zero okay you are getting zero here and for remaining terms also if you take higher derivatives then also derivative of zero is zero so the remaining terms will be zero so that's why we stop our process there getting so let me write here yes let me finish the bracket zero to one so now the question is how to solve the second integration don't worry okay for that what i'm going to do i'm going to put i'm going to use substitution i'm going to put x, x square is equal to t okay so right now I, I will simply copy here for 0 to 1 x cos x square dx okay uh, yes what shall we do minus 4 x sin x minus minus plus cos x with limit 0 to 1 plus 4 0 to 1 x cos x square dx okay so let let me mention somewhere i'm going to put x square is equal to t okay okay where shall i write let me write it here putting putting x square is equal to t in second integral okay so x square is equal to t so when you put anything obviously we have to find its derivative so derivative of x square is 2x dx i should write derivative of t is 1 so i should write dt let me shift 2 on this that side so x dx is equal to dt by 2 what it means it means x and dx both of them can be replaced by dt by 2 simply okay so let us uh, find the new limit since we have used the substitution so for the original limits were 0 to 1 so 0 and for x is equal to 1 so see let us see what we will get if i put x is equal to 0 here if i put x is equal to 0 obviously t is 0 and if i put x is equal to 1 here t is also equal to 1 okay so let me use this substitution and the new limits so the i is equal to minus 4 so let us put 1 here so 1 sin 1 i should write we don't know the value of sin 1 let us copy as it is cos 1 okay plus cos 1 if i put 0 sin 0 is 0 you know and cos 0 is 1 so that's why minus 1 so since we since when you put lower limit always we write minus sign there no? so that minus came there so this plus 4 integration new limits 0 to 1 cos cos x square is t okay and x dx x dx should be replaced by dt by 2 okay so dt by 2 so this is equal to minus 4 sin 1 plus cos 1 minus 1 see that 2 will come outside 1 by 2 will come outside since it is a constant that 1 by 2 will get cancelled with this 4 so you will have simply 2 integration of cos is sin t with limit 0 to 1 so minus 4 sin 1 we get I am simplifying it minus 4 cos 1 and minus minus plus 4 and if you put 1 here plus 2 you will have sin 1 and if you put 0 you know that sin 0 is 0 so you can simplify it further minus 4 sin 1 plus 2 sin 1 that means you will have minus 2 sin 1 minus 4 cos 1 and plus 4 this is a required answer okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye